So, um, I'm going to make a video today over something new. So um, I'm going to go over lines, rays, and angles. So what we would normally do when we have new information is we get out our journal, right? So I sent all of your journals home with you. So if you want to get out your journal, um, you can play this video back and copy down the information and the notes that I'm giving you. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to draw this dot. So you see this dot sitting right there. Okay, this is called a point. And these points have names. So we can name it point A, we can call it point B, we can call it point C, whatever we want to call it when it comes to a letter. The next thing that I wanna show you is a line. This would be a line. You can see that it's going um, in both directions continuously. And on this line, I may have point B, I may have point C, just showing you that there's points that can happen along a line, and that's gonna make more sense as we get deeper into the lesson. Um, the next one that I wanna show you is, I'm gonna start with a point, let's call this point D, but this side, I want it to continue to go, I'm not gonna stop it. So this point is actually the starting point or the ending point, and it cannot go past that spot and it's going to continue this way. We use rays when it comes to angles that we're going to get to here in a little bit. So this would be called a ray. And then um, I wanna show you a line segment. So um, we are going to um, draw two points because that means that our line segment, which is what this is called, can't go farther in any direction. We use this for shapes because the shapes are closed. So if I was to draw a rectangle here, um, I could draw my points at each end and you could see I've got a line segment here, a line segment here, a line segment, and a line segment. So this is called a line segment. We're just going to label, let's say this is F, this is G, I forgot that um, our ray could have another point along the way there, just to show it keeps going in one, and there's maybe points, places that come off of that point. So um, these are the four major things that you need to know when it comes to shapes and angles. So this would be our first set of vocabulary that you're going to want to draw into your journal. So I'm going to go ahead and um, Erase this, you can always go back, rewatch it, pause it, whatever you need to do to go ahead and get your information labeled inside of your journal. I'm going to go ahead and erase because the next thing that I wanna show you is angles. Now you should be pretty familiar with angles from third grade. I know that they um, introduced angles. Um, you may not remember, um, but there are four different types of angles that I wanna show you. The first angle that I wanna show you is what's called a right angle. So I'm gonna put a point here and I've got two rays that are coming off that point. So let's just um, call this point A. And what you'll see here is it's called a right angle because if I was to measure this angle, which I'm hopefully going to be able to teach you how to do that, we use protractors to learn how to measure angles. Um, this is called a right angle because this angle, if I was to measure it, would measure 90 degrees. It's like the corner of a desk, the corner of a box, anything that makes a um, kind of, I guess, this angle here straight up, straight across would be 90 degrees. So that'd be a right angle. The next one that I wanna show you would be an angle, you've got array going off in both directions with your center point right here. We'll label that point B. Um, this would be called a straight angle. A straight angle would measure 180 degrees. So if I was to use a protractor, which would look like this here, the bottom part straight across here, the straight angle would measure at 180 degrees. The next one that you're very familiar with, I would hope, is we have a point here, we have a ray going up, ray going this way. This 
this angle here would measure less than 90 degrees. See, if I was to draw a line this way, anywhere along here, it would be less than 90 degrees. So we call this an acute angle. And I try to say, oh, he's so cute to remind me that he's less than 90 degrees. And then the last angle that I want to show you is an obtuse angle. So let's put our point here. Our ray is coming off of that point. The angle is what you measure on the inside. This angle would measure more than 90 degrees, but less than 80. So it falls anywhere from this point going this way would be obtuse. So it would weigh, I mean, it would measure more than 90 degrees, but less than 80. So that's just the introduction to the angles, what I would want you to draw in your journal. If you have your journal next to you, remember you could pause this, copy down all of the information you need for angles. This is just the starting point for trying to get us to the point where we can learn how to measure with a protractor.